like missionary, that's it? Come on, this is Jim Walcott. <laughs> you tell us what you want. Okay, well, oral should, that, that to me is part of regular, oral is, a, you sure you okay? Okay. Oral is fine. Okay, oral, okay. oral. Oral is um, good. 23,000, twice a week. Twice a week. We have a deal, we have a deal. Look, if I never met Jim Walcott, then how do I have this picture of us together in Hawaii with our arms around each other? I have nothing to gain here. I have no axe to grind. All I want is to tell the truth. That's You're all. On the Are you conservative payroll, payroll right? Okay, so they got a picture of this woman with Jim, what, sitting on sitting on Jim's lap or something? I sat on Santa Claus's lap. I have a picture of that. Was I sleeping with Santa Claus? You know what I mean? I don't know. Okay. Were you? Okay. No, I wasn't. Now, now we've got a sympathy problem here. Okay, we're losing the sympathy for Jim Walcott. Right. So we have to build that up. Okay. You know what I need here? I need, um, I need a wheelchair. We need a wheelchair in this campaign. That's how we do it. I want Jim's wife in a wheelchair. Uh, hold on, I just saw Jim's wife on TV this morning. She was walking. Okay, get anyone in a wheelchair. Give me anyone in a wheelchair. All right, that can't be too hard. Okay. Get a person in a wheelchair, put them on the campaign. Okay. And I don't want anyone who's off-putting. Off-putting? I don't want an off-putting disability. What do you mean off-putting disability? Image is important here. I don't want to sound too harsh, but I don't want, you know, you know Stephen Hawking stuff. Okay? Just, I want an injury that people can feel good about. You mean like a spinal sports injury? Yes, exactly. I want a disability that people don't feel threatened by. A disability people can feel good about. Okay? Good. Good. That's it. Look, when I said I never met Miss Radner, I was mistaken. Come on in. I was mistaken. I did meet her once, 10 years ago at a party. So if Miss Radner thinks that constitutes a relationship, she is in need of some serious psychological help. My wife and I are praying for a recovery every day, as is one of the newest members of my campaign team, my best old school friends who recently had a tragic skiing accident and whose strength and courage are a daily source of inspiration to me. That's all, thanks. Jim Walcott is the father of my baby. I have nothing else to say. <clears throat> All right. Um, I just want to say that I do, in fact, recall now that Miss Radner and I were lovers on um, a couple of occasions. But I am confident that blood tests will prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that I am not the father of this woman's child. This is a seriously disturbed woman in need of help. And my wife and I are praying for her recovery twice daily, as is one of my best school friends who recently had a tragic skiing accident and whose strength and courage are a daily source of inspiration for me. That's all. Thank you for coming out. Let Mr. Walcott, do you plan to take further action given yeah, the nature yeah, of these yeah, statements, yeah, sir? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's he getting at? 200 appearances. Okay, and you want what? 600, with a guarantee of 10 appearances. $6,000? That's right. Oh, please. Come on. This is a political campaign. <laughs> we can't afford that. that that's, that's, that's a joke. What are, are you an agent or a lawyer? I'm an agent. Come in here with an agent? You're Jim's friend? You come here with an agent? She's protecting my interests. That's right. I'm here to represent my client. No, forget it. You know, it's too much. <laughs> you want to exploit him? Yeah, I'm not exploiting anybody, okay? And you know something? I don't need him. I don't need him. Forget it then. No, no. Forget actually, it. No, I forget actually, it. No, no, forget no. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Relax. My God, we need the guy. Sympathy. Look at him. Okay, 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 okay. Let me ask you a question. Can you absolutely for sure not walk? Absolutely for sure can't walk a step. That's right. And this was a skiing accident? Yes, I was skiing. Uh, we were drinking on the, on the drive home and uh, we got in a car accident. Oh, well, this is I this was is skiing a, first. Oh, forget this. I didn't well, know this is a drinking and driving accident? This wasn't a skiing accident. We wanted an athlete here. You wanted We're, the guy in a wheelchair. The guy was drinking and driving. He had an accident. I'll give him 300 and a guarantee of five appearances tops. 500 with a guarantee of 10. Four and seven. Four and a half with a guarantee of eight. Four and a quarter guarantee of seven. We'll take it. All right. Done. Done. Okay. Right. I just right. want to make sure that when this campaign is over and I'm walking down the street, this guy doesn't come walking towards me. Uh, you won't. I promise I'll never walk again. Okay. Thank you. 
Jim Walcott is under investigation for misuse of public broadcasting funds between the years 1991 and 1996. What was the money spent on? Personal airfares, ski trips, alcohol, personal car repairs, uh, excuse me. How much Are there money? any charges? <clears throat> Pardon me, this criminal investigation against me is a ludicrous fraud. The police and the prosecutor are so far off base here. I tell you, I tell you, if I have done something wrong, let them arrest me here and now. My wife and I can only pray for these people, as, as will my uh, best school friend Dave, who recently had a tragic skiing accident and whose courage and strength are a daily source of inspiration for me. Dave. Jim Walcott has been has been there for me uh, all through this traumatic experience after my skiing accident. And my struggle has been as difficult as Yul Brenner's when he was dying. And my struggle has been as difficult as Yul Brenner's when he was dying? Look, he told me to say that. Yeah, yeah, I thought we could finally tie in the whole Yul Brenner thing. What do you right? mean, tie in? I said, just drop the Yul Brenner thing, okay? Drop the Yul Brenner thing. I said, you know, I need more of a segue between my struggle and, and the Yul Brenner part. Segway? Now you're talking about segways? Look, just do the wheelchair. You know what? Screw it, okay? I don't need this. I've got a regular job. Okay, no, no, just settle down, okay? And from now on, every speech goes by me first, all right? All right. Thank you very no much. Problem. Very good. All right, look, good. It's, it's been a very long day, and I feel like... Yes, it has. Like, certain responsibility to this, and uh, I saw a documentary once on group dynamics, so I suggest that we all hug. Uh, all right? Uh, we all have a hug. Just, you know, uh, bring the team back together is kind of a... Uh, okay. Right? Okay. Right. We're, we're a team, right? Yeah, we're... no, no, okay, fine. No, no, we're... Okay, well, it'll work. Everything will work. All right, okay? yeah. Good, good. No it'll problem, work. yeah. Great, all thanks right. for all your help. Okay. Huh? Okay. All We're right. back together. Okay. 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 Jim Walcott team, yeah? We ran a blood test on uh, both Jim Walcott and the child, and Mr. Walcott is, beyond a shadow of a doubt, the father of Miss Radner's baby. So you're Jim's mother, right? Mm, that's right. And you haven't seen your son in 22 years? Well, you know how it is. People get busy, especially in families. But I, I've been watching his problems on TV, and... I thought it was time to come home and, and help, if I could. We pay $100 per appearance. Five. I have no idea where they got my blood. This doctor clearly has either a vested interest in my downfall or has some serious mental problems. I want to say, physician, heal thyself, but instead, my wife and I are going to pray for him as we are praying for Ms. Radner and for the prosecutor in the misuse of funds charge. Most of all, our deepest prayers are going out to the child who is being manipulated in this whole mess. Joining us in our prayers now is, of course, my old friend and school chum, Dave, and as well now my mom. My mom single-handedly raised four young boys as a single mother after the tragic death of my father. And we will make it through this. Jim's father was having an affair with my second cousin. Her husband came home, caught them in bed. Jim Sr. tried to jump out the window. The guy shot him in the leg. Jim's father fell on his head, was brain dead for a few months, until they pulled the plug. Now, mind you, in those days, there wasn't much problem about pulling plugs. I've worked here in the news department for about two years. Um... Jim Walcott, without my consent, kissed me on the mouth and touched me several times while I worked as a researcher on his news show. Um, I joined Mr. Walcott's campaign, and on the second day, he propositioned me. When I refused, he had me kicked off the campaign team. I was on a school tour of the TV station where Jim Walcott was an anchor, and I asked him for an autograph. He said he'd give it to me in his dressing room. When I refused, he tried to kiss me. I ran away and told my teacher, and he propositioned her as well. That's it. My wife and I are praying for everyone. You know, my wife has been a pillar of support for me throughout this whole thing. Without her love and amazing loyalty, I really couldn't have kept going. Thank you. Will there be true? criminal Your charges, Lane? Are you, still, are you still with Jim Walcott's campaign? quarter? I'm leaving, Jim. I have nothing more to say other than uh, he's shown a very depraved and vile side to his nature, which I never knew existed. I can only pray for his soul. 
My wife's mental stability has been stretched to the limit by the false and scandalous accusations that have been made against me in this campaign. And I only hope that this terrible time hasn't driven her back to her alcohol and drug dependence. I'm praying to God for her. Oh my God, Jim's been hit. They shot him. Somebody shot him. Get an ambulance. Get an ambulance. Well, you're going to be okay, Jim. This could work for us. Am I right? You're right. I loved Jim Walcott. He was the only candidate who was really willing to cut taxes and at the same time balance the budget. The doctors say the bullet is lodged in the center of Jim's brain. Is this a big problem? Well, they can't get it out. No, but this is a problem for us. Well, I imagine so. It's in the middle of his brain. No, um, what I'm getting at here is there serious impairment. The doctors say he's brain dead. Oh, that's going to hurt us. That's going to hurt. Mr. Walcott is definitely alive. Can you hang on a sec? Jeremy? Yeah? Guy from the Globe heard that Jim's brain dead. What are we saying? Hey, Mark. Yeah? Are we using brain dead? Uh, George. Uh, I saw Jim about an hour ago. He looks fantastic. Hold on a second. Yeah. Are we using brain dead to the press? No, no, no. He's resting. He's resting. He's not brain dead. Yeah, I think what we got here is what I would call a Canadian Christopher Reeves situation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have a um, we have a, a a celebrity with a certain amount of trauma, and uh, this guy's still got a tremendous contribution to make to public life. That's right. That's right. Well, we, we're having faith in, uh, in in Jim right now. Uh, that's what we're doing. Faith in Jim. Faith in God. And faith in the uh, democratic process. That's right. We're moving straight ahead. Which means we think we can win this. We know we can win this thing. That's right. Thank you very much. This is a poll they did last night after Jim's shooting. We're up 16 points. Wow, great. Was I right booking him into that mall? 16 points in political terms? That's huge. That's huge. Yeah, just like the hole in his brain. I don't want to mention the term brain dead. Okay, there's too much negative spit on that. Jim Walcott is still very much alive in this campaign. He's alive on paper. I mean, on paper. You make it sound like well, he's in some kind of a birdcage or something. The man's body is in perfect shape. He's got one small hole in his head, no exit wound. Okay. That's because his brain absorbed the impact. His brain did absorb the impact. Okay, but that shot got us something. You know what it did? Bang. Sexual abuse charge, off the front page of the paper. Bang. The fraud thing, gone. Bang. The paternity suit, gone. So without losing sight of the real tragedy of this thing, the shooting is about the best goddamn thing that could have happened to this campaign. Are you saying that we're going to run a brain-dead candidate? Forget about brain-dead. Forget about all that stuff, right? Okay. We've got to think of a positive spin we can give to this, something we can sell. How about Jim Walcott, who is sleeping peacefully? No, 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 not peacefully. Okay. Makes him sound like a pacifist. We're not running a pacifist. Right. We're running a fighter. Jim's a fighter. Okay. Okay, I got words like battle, courage, guts. I got one. Jim's silent war. I like war, I don't like silence. Quiet. No, wrong, wrong. Jim's private and courageous war. Private and courageous struggle. Jim's struggle. private and courageous struggle. Struggle. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. good. Campaign. Better, better. Okay, I like that. Jim's private and courageous campaign. I love that. The campaign, the courage, and it's private, right? He's got the whole brain dead thing going for him, but, you know, we're, we're keeping it down where he's not flaunting it. Not like Karen and Quinlan did. Let's get a poster. How long for posters? A couple of days. A couple of days? Okay. I, you know what I love? Those posters of Jean-Claude Van Damme. Those penetrating eyes. Never say die. I love that. Jim's a fighter. Never say die. How about never say anything? Hugh, politics can be a bizarre game, but have you ever seen anything like this campaign with a brain-dead candidate? Pamela, I've seen some very strange things in politics in all the major parties, but the notion of running Jim Walcott in a brain-dead context, running him as a brain-dead candidate, is the most offensive thing I've ever seen. Even for liberals, it's offensive. Jeffrey Simpson in Ottawa, your take on all of this? Pamela, I've been following politics and covering them for 20 years in Canada, and I've never seen anything more ridiculous than this. It's a complete hoax perpetrated on the Canadian people. 